I admit this video is much later than I had planned. It was supposed to be uploaded weeks ago because it's actually the skincare routine I fall back on in fall, not the one I have for winter. Now life rarely goes as planned and as the recent lack of videos on my channel has shown, my day job has taken over again. No thanks to the rising numbers of COVID-19. But I promised you my skincare routine to fight hyperpigmentation, so even if I already switched to something else, here it is. Hi, I'm Dr. Anne. I'm a medical doctor with a passion for skincare that works. On this channel, we explore the science behind skin and do quick reviews, so you learn to pick exactly those products that work for your individual skin concern. So if this is something you're interested in, please consider subscribing and ring the notification bell. First things first, this is my skincare routine and the products I use, and it will not do you any good to exactly copy it. Every skin is different and the products I use can easily be replaced with others that are better available where you live or better suit your budget. And as we're already on the topic of disclaimers, everything I show you will not help in fighting hyperpigmentation if you don't wear sunscreen. Yes, every day and yes, even in this drab weather. Which smoothly transitions to the first part of this video, my morning routine to fight hyperpigmentation. As always, my mornings need to be super quick. So once the summer heat's gone, I skip cleansing with a dedicated cleanser, opt for a hydrating and soothing toner. My current one is still the Diaclase Supple Preparation Unscented one that I enrich with vitamin C, and then use a step to specifically target hyperpigmentation, which is right now a tranexamic acid serum, or more specifically, the Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum. Another budget-friendly option would be the tranexamic acid serum or treatment by the Inky List. I have used both and find them to work equally well, but the version from the Inky List smells a little like barbecue sauce, so good molecules it is at the moment. Oh, and before you ask, no, I am not the biggest fan of vitamin C powders, but my latest serum has oxidized and I can't seem to get my hands on the one by Timeless that many of you recommended. It's a quick fix rather than a long-term solution. But no matter if I get my L-ascorbic acid through a serum or a powder, I tend to wait until it's fully absorbed before I add the next step, exactly as long as it takes me to brush my teeth to be precise. After serum, either a light with moisturizer and a light with sunscreen, or a richer sunscreen like the Purito Centella Green Level Unscented Sunscreen Only. This is my winter pick and a dedicated video review will be up soon. Now for the evenings. As you might expect if you have seen any of my other skincare routines, my main product doing the heavy lifting in terms of acne, anti-aging and hyperpigmentation has to be my tretinoin. It's the backbone of my routine and everything I do as an add-on will be arranged around me using it. So if you use a prescription retinoid or really any type of retinoid, I recommend you make that work for you and only use other things in addition to that. With that being said, I cleanse single or double depending on the amount of makeup I wear, but usually a single cleanse will do. Then I use a soothing toner like the Purito Centella Unscented one, and then I use the Ordinary Niacinamide Plus Sink. You have seen it through so many of my routines already, sometimes used in the morning, sometimes used at night. It definitely holds a place in my my all-time hall of fame. Not only helps the sink with inflammation, which is great against acne and post-inflammatory erythema, but the niacinamide both helps in fighting hyperpigmentation and helps my skin tolerate the tretinoin better. A win-win. After these steps that never really change, it depends on whether it's a tretinoin night or not. I use it three times a week, anything more gives me irritation and peeling. So if it's a tretinoin night, I follow up with the Zelens Power D treatment drops. Yes, expensive, but for me absolutely worth it then my tretinoin, and then I'm done. If it is not a tretinoin night, I will follow up with the Alpha Abutin Serum by the Inky List. Alpha Abutin is a precursor to hydroquinone, the gold standard ingredient against hyperpigmentation. If you're interested in hydroquinone, I have a video talking about it in depth here. Alpha Abutin is much weaker in effect, but also less irritating, which is why I opt for that one. My eye cream is, is still the Murad Retinol Youth Renewal Eye Serum, then a moisturizer. My winter pick is the Peptide Moisturizer by the Inkylist, and I am done. 
If you compare that to my other routines throughout the year to fight hyperpigmentation, you will notice that four things to fight hyperpigmentation never really change. My tretinoin, niacinamide, vitamin C and a broad spectrum sunscreen. The only new additions are tranexamic acid and alpha arbutin, both of which do help in fighting the hyperpigmentation but aren't so potent that they on their own would make much of a difference. That ties in with what I have been saying over and over again in this video series on hyperpigmentation. Consistency and patience is key rather than one specific ingredient. With my regular routine in place, I only need a little extra after the summer because no matter how good I am at reapplying sunscreen, my existing sunspots do get darker. I just love spending as much time outdoors as I can. Adding these two steps helps fade them again within a few weeks. If you, however, have really stubborn dark patches or even melasma, a visit to your doctor might be in order for either a course of hydroquinone or more invasive methods like lasers or clinical strength peels. Do you have a hyperpigmentation routine that you fall back on? If yes, please share in the comments. I will link to more videos on the screen now that I think you might enjoy and I'm going to see you all very soon with another one. Bye!